Hello, my lovelies. Capricorns, let's see what's going to happen in the month of July. Let's see what sort of dragon wisdom we have for you in the month of July. What do you need to know? The dragon rider. So this is an interesting card. So this talks about how the dragons are entities that are like our guardian angels. They've been incarnated with us through many lifetimes and we are bonded to them. And so not all of us have a dragon that we are a rider. I always think of Game of Thrones and Khaleesi had the dragons and she was like their keeper, their mother. So while not all of these will be like a mother-child relationship, it's a very unique bond that you are bonded to this dragon, this entity throughout eternity. And you can call on them to help assist you or get you out of situations at any given time. So it's a really unique bond. Let's see how we raise the vibe for this month. What do we need to know? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to know? Ooh, my high vibes that heal the world. Are you in high vibrational energy? I guess that's the biggest question with this card. If you don't feel like you are, you need to get there because your vibration is affecting others. So think of when you drop something into a body of water and you get that ripple effect. Your energy is energetically affecting other people. You want it to be for all the right reasons. So I feel like if you get in that high vibrational energy, it's like you're going to be a fucking rock star and you're going to affect people in a really good way. All right, what do we need to know for the month of July? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go, a bunch of flippers. Let's see where else that was it. All right. Mm, an unexpected love offer. Where is it going? Do you want it to go somewhere? Are you looking for love? I feel like this person's had their eye on you for a while, kind of lurking in the background. I feel like this unexpected offer takes you by surprise. It could be something that kind of shocks you. Maybe who it comes from kind of shocks you. So investigate it and see where things go. I feel like you might be commanding a lot of attention if you're in high vibrational energy. You might also be manifesting new love coming in for yourself. And it looks like you're going to get some success. It could be some notoriety, some sort of reward or public recognition, even potential for fame with the Six of Wands. And that the hard work will pay off, so be willing to do the hard work. Know that Salon Study wins the race and you're going to have to work hard towards these dreams and goals and make any sort of necessary changes. Remember that the tower, while it is destructive in nature, is meant to have you level level the playing field is what they're saying so that you can rebuild from a solid state of being i feel like that's going to lead to your success so eliminating obstacles in your life be willing to let the tower crumble be willing to let new things into your life and if you're not willing to do that ask yourself why are things going so well that you don't need any improvements that's unlikely to be the story so be open to new possibilities because the tower happens regardless of whether we're ready for it or not all right, the Page of Swords. So there could be some gossip. Somebody could be spying on you. Um, I feel like it's this person that wants to come in with the love offer. You might need some strength and courage this month, so stay determined to keep going focused on your goals. And this new opportunity could lead to love, marriage, and commitment for you. All in all, it's shaping up to be a pretty good month. So let's see what we have going on for love for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yep, meeting someone new, getting to know this person, and really kind of um, divulging like your innermost secrets to this person. I feel like you're going to be really happy with whoever this new person is. Lots of passion, lots of fireworks, lots of chemistry there, and you're working on healing some family wounds in the process. So don't be afraid to express your feelings this month. I feel like that could be an obstacle that maybe you keep things under wraps or you didn't really express yourself, but I feel like you kind of need to do those. But watch out for a snake in your midst. You do have somebody that's spying on you, so it could be someone that you need to enable some boundaries with. It could be like an ex or something that's wanting to resurface, but you are welcoming in abundance. So not only happiness, but monetary wealth. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. You have the Queen of Wands out here, so I feel like you could be a master manifester that you really start to pull things into your 3D reality this month. Make some healthy choices in love and in life. You don't deserve to be with a narcissist. Nobody does. You don't deserve to be with somebody who makes you wonder if they're cheating or if they're faithful. You deserve better than that. Everybody does. So make sure that you are focused on your goals and don't back down from your boundaries this month. Let go of the, the self-sabotaging behavior. Hiccup for confirmation. It's time to end that silent treatment and abandonment. 
and watch out for people who are trying to seduce you because there is a lot of spicy chemistry going on. You have the passion card, lots of fireworks. Remember that your relationships reflect back to you your wounds. So if there's something that keeps coming up, it's a repetitive cycle, it might involve some shadow work to really release that. If you are currently single, enjoy the time that you have with friends and live in the moment because soon you may be being asked out on a date. So get back out there so you can plan or set a date. For most of you, I feel like this happens very sudden and very shocking, but I think it will be a pleasant change. This person might decide they want to chase you. Make sure that you aren't dealing with the fear of abandonment. You have passion that's coming in. I feel like you need to follow your creative passions as well, but I feel like you have a lot of chemistry and passion coming in with a new person. Have a great month. We'll see you soon.